Hey guys, thanks for checking back with me. Um, I went over my EDC bag in a previous video. Now I'm going to go over the stuff that I EDC everyday carry with me on my person pretty much every day. Um, not a lot of stuff, but some, some, uh, some, I don't know, tell me what you think. Uh, the first thing is paracord bracelet. Do I use it as a survival bracelet? No, I really just like the look of this bracelet. Um, and, you know, if you ever do need some cordage, I have unraveled one of these before for some stuff, but if you, have, you know, if you need a little bit of cordage, you got, I think in this one's got about 20 feet or so. But, I mean, generally, I just like the bracelet. I like the way it, I like the way it looks. So I carry a bracelet. Then the other thing I got, I use every day because I'm fat. Well, fat-ish. Uh, belt. This is a 511 TDU belt. And it has to be about the best belt I've ever had. Um, I've had this for a couple of years now. It still looks and looks new. Not a lot, no fraying. Uh, again, I use it every single day and there's always a few things carried on it. Uh, you know, I've had leather belts that don't last nearly as long as this have or look as good in the length of time I've had it. I think it's about 10 or 15 bucks off Amazon. Uh, if you're looking for a belt, that's the way to go right there. That's my belt. On my belt, I carry Skin Solution. I think this is an OD model. It's got a button. Uh, belt hoop, look, belt hoop right here. Uh, I didn't. I just don't trust buttons in generally, especially when there's only one of them. So I just had a uh, pals clip behind it for extra security. Uh, there is a little bit of pals webbing in there. I don't know what you'd use that for though with the hook there. In this, I got a Streamlight Micro. This is going to be one of the greatest little tiny flashlights you can get. Uh, it's real small. Put it in your pocket. You don't even know it's there. I got it, and about a week after I got it, I lost it. And about a year went by, and I found it. It was outside in my driveway. It had been run over, left in the rain, snow, everything, all the weather elements. It had actually been driven over so many times it actually got pushed down into the ground. Uh, and when I started, I was like, oh, man, there's my light. And I picked it up, hit the button. Still worked. I forget how much I paid for this, uh, but worth every penny. You know, I can't say enough about this little tiny light. Double uh, hook there so you can put it on a belt or clip it this way on the brim of your hat so it's looking forward. Great little light. And all that running around, trampled in stone and everything, I don't know if you can see it, but just very minor things and dents in the anodizing. Great flashlight. Inside, Fisher Space Pen. That's right, it's a knockoff. Um, little utility knife. Uh, the original, I think, is around 100 bucks. The knockoff was about 3 bucks, 3 or 5 bucks. But it is a knockoff, not as good, definitely not as safe. If you can see here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I actually had to come and put a couple tack welds on there because when the blade was out, and you put any type of downward cutting pressure on the blade, the bottom of the blade would rock out through the bottom and into the palm of your hand. So if you're cutting or doing any type of work, and any pressure would rock that blade back in your hand, so I had to put some tack welds there to prevent it. That's what you get with a knockoff. But unfortunately, I can't afford the original. Um... The Rexford rut, uh, so I got a knockoff. And you know what? If I had the money after using this, I use this every day, all day. I would definitely get the rut. I just again, it's not in my budget. I say that, then I pull up the Leatherman Charge TTI, which really isn't in my budget, but one of the things I just kind of had to have. Uh, I never thought I'd use a Leatherman or have any use for it. And it's one of those things you don't think you need it. Then you put it in your pocket and you're surprised at how much you've used it. How would you get this far without it? I don't know. And then, last but not least, a little pry bar. Uh, it's like a $5 one. I cut the end off it, rounded it off. Um, 
use this shit. I get a lot of small boxes at work. I have to pry wooden lids off. And I want to, didn't want to pull this out every time. Or even use the back of this. But this works well. Uh, again, five bucks. And that's what's in my skint. Then I picked this little boy up the other day. This is a through night TN12. Crazy bright. Crazy bright. I think the top comes in at like 1,050 lumens. It's got one strobe mode on it, which really is all I can really see myself using. Uh, if I'm out somewhere in my EDC bag, if you've seen the other video, I do have another uh, flashlight that's got a beacon mode and such on that, but a couple of different brightnesses on this. Uh, just got it. Really haven't played with it too much, so I can't say too much about it, but so far it seems to be a pretty good light. I'll put that to the side. And then the last two things I carry is my telephone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which is what's making the video, so you can't see that. And then uh, my wallet. Um, these are uh, the wallet itself is my design. I had a Kickstarter campaign, didn't take off. Um, it's kind of a combination of a bunch of things that are out there. You, know, you can fan your cards out, pick what you need. I, I also have in this wallet, there's another metal plate in the middle that's got a little loop that comes out right here with a hole in it so you can put a lanyard on it, your keys on it, or something like that. It is RFID safe, uh, provided that in this loop there is not where your RFID chip resides. If it is, take your card, turn it around, you're good to go. This top card is my gate key for work in the wallet right now it uh, doesn't work it doesn't operate the, the gate if I take the card and spin it around the chip actually falls right in there and then I can open the gate without taking my card out now credit cards usually have the chip off to the side someplace so we're good there um, I do have a bunch of these left if anyone's interested I got them in black and blue or black and blue mix uh, you know, black outside, blue middle plate, which is what I got, or blue, black, how, however. If anyone's interested, hit me up and I'll uh, work something out with you. I got an extra O-ring on there, usually only if it takes one. O-rings last about eh, four months or so. They will break, I'll give you some extra ones with it. So if you're interested in the wallet, let me know. Uh, I love it. Like I say, I, I've bought other wallets since just because I, 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 I like to mix it up. I keep coming back to this. It's so light. You can put a bunch of cards in. I think I got about 10 cards in there now. Money on the side. You could actually, if you wanted, and I don't do it like this myself, take your money, stick it in there, close it up. Good to go. Uh, the nice thing about it is you can see over here I've got some engraving, but you know, you got the whole surface plate if you want to take it someplace and have it engraved. Uh, any kind of information. But that's my lot. So that's the stuff I EDC every day. Uh, whenever you see me, I've got that stuff on you, on me rather, and uh, well, that's it. If you have any questions or anything you've seen there, especially the wallet, because I know you, I'm the only place I know if I can get it since I made it. But if you have any questions or anything you see, let me know, and you know I'll just send you some replies. Or if you have any, want to see any more videos or detail about something I have, uh, let me know. Thanks.